Hello everyone, I am Sagar Banushali and I am going to talk about Fimbria and Pillai. Gram negative type of organisms have uh, hair like appendages. These hair like appendages are short, straight, and thinner as compared to flagella. These hair like appendages are generally made up of piling protein. This piling protein uh, is arranged helically around a central core. Suppose if I take this a central core, the piling protein is arranged helically to form pili or a fimbriae. So uh, if I take this uh, structure, this can be further be split into this fimbriae or pili. Generally the terms fimbriae and pili are used interchangeably but the functions of these two uh, structures are totally different. So first of all if I talk about fimbriae, uh, fimbriae are fimbriae are made up of pilin. They may be present at on pole. Suppose if I take up a bacteria, they may be present at the pole or may be present throughout the surface. The range may vary from few to hundred. Okay, so if I talk about the characteristics, its location will be at pole or or throughout the cell okay so second one range few 200 per cell okay so uh, if I talk about fimbriae the fimbriae have the tendency to either to itself or to another surface thereby enabling the bacteria to either to the surfaces Due to this adherence uh, tendency, the bacteria are able to form biofilms and uh, the structures, uh, biofilms and the adherence qualities to the glass or uh, solid surfaces. So, function is adherence. Adherence. So, if I talk about an example, uh, the example I can take is Neisseria gonorrhea. It is the causative agent of the disease gonorrhea. The organism attaches to the epithelial lining due to its uh, through its fimbriae and is able to cause the disease gonorrhea. It first attaches to the epithelial lining, thereby colonizes the mucous membrane. Once it colonizes the mucous membrane, it is able to cause the disease. Okay. So another example I can take is E. coli strain O157. This strain attaches to the inner lining of the small intestine, thereby causing the disease watery diarrhea. Uh, due to genetic mutation, some organisms lose the ability to form to have form or have fimbriae, thereby they are not able to colonize and are not able to cause the disease. So its function is to adherence and to colonize the bacteria and cause the disease. Another uh, structure is pili. So if we talk about pili, pili are generally longer than fimbriae. Their main function is motility and DNA transfer. Function is motility and DNA transfer. Uh, motility by pili includes uh, first twitching type of motility. Twitching motility. Twitching motility includes uh, the extension or the additional assembly of the pili pilin protein. This pili or the pilus is generally made up of pilin protein which is helically arranged around a hollow core. An additional assembly of, the, of this pilin protein leads to the increase in size of this pilus. Okay, so once this if once if this end attaches to a cell or a surface, the once it attaches to a cell of this or cell or the surface, there is a disassembly of the pilin protein, thereby decreasing the length of the pilus. This brings the organism close to the surface due to the by experiencing a jerk. That is the disassembly of the pilin. It makes the organism experience a jerk and move towards the surface, thereby moving the organism from one position to another.
Okay, so this is twitching motility. It is generally due to the assembly and the disassembly of the pilin protein, uh, causing the extension and the, or the re extension and the retraction of the pilus. This twitching motility is also known as grappling hook model. The organism that follow this twitching motility uh, include some strains of E. coli. Uh, second, Pseudomonas pudida, third, Neisseria gonorrhea. Okay, so another type of, this was one type of motility. Another type of motility includes gliding. Gliding type of motility. The actual mechanism of this gliding motility is not known. But this type of motility allows the bacteria to move in, in a low water content uh, medium or the surface. Suppose if I take the example as soil. This type of motility allows the bacterium to move in move, move in soil. Okay, so that has very low water content. So this was the function as motility. Another function includes DNA transfer. So if I take the another function DNA transfer, uh, some pili are generally used for the transfer of genetic material by bringing two bacteria together. The pili that brings two bacteria together is known as sex pili or conjugation pili. So sex pili, DNA transfer is due to sex pili or conjugation pili. Okay, so if I take a bacterium which is A and uh, another bacterium which has B. So the sex pili from this bacterium extends and attaches to the surface of the B thereby transfer of genetic material that is the DNA takes place. Okay, so this transfer of from one bacterium to another bacterium takes place due to conjugation pili. The another bacterium may be from the same species or from different species. So uh, the Transfer of genetic material from A to B can bring about can bring about the new formation of a new characteristic into B into the recipient type of bacterium. The new characteristic can be antibiotic resistivity. Suppose the transfer of genetic material out to the DNA is from A to B and the A is tetracycline resistant, then the B may also be tetracycline resistant. Another characteristic that can be gained by the B includes the ability to you utilize or digest the medium more efficiently that can be due to the genetic material that is transferred from A or due to genetic mutations so this was about Fimbri and Pili uh, I hope you like my video please do like subscribe share thank you